Now with the SV1000, again, this bike's fully adjustable with rebound, compression, and preload for both the forks and the shock. And we'll also notice that geometrically, the front forks are pushed through just a little bit to push a bit more weight forwards because again, it's a pretty much a standard motorcycle. So most of the weight is a little further back off of the front wheel. That way the geometry of the chassis is tipped forward first, which will give it a lot better feel if it's gonna be used as a sport bike riding with canyons and the track. Honda Suzuki of Salt Lake has the Honda or Suzuki you've been looking for. You know you want it, come in and get it at Honda Suzuki of Salt Lake. Okay, checking for free sag, and we got a quarter inch. So basically, we'll look at 23 and a half inches extended, right or on. Now we're at 22. So we're a little on the soft side at 190 if we include also the extra quarter inch of free sag. So we probably tighten this up a little bit if you're around 200 pounds. If you're about 170, this is probably going to be perfect on the showroom floor for sag in the back. Onto the front. So the fork, as we said, the forks are pushed through to push the geometry of the bike a little more forward. And we're at th just over three and a half inches. So the forks are actually perfect for this weight range. So there's a couple of little things to do to the back, but nothing much. And as again, you're in that weight range, you can pretty much take this straight off the showroom floor and it's set for your weight. Okay, now with Haley on the bike, obviously we're gonna see a lot stiffer of a result here. And we're just on an inch. So again, we can soften this up. It's a street bike and mostly used for the street and some canyon ridings. So if we soften the spring up, for try and get half an inch out of it, we'd be right on the edge of that spring's use. So if you're gonna go ahead and use it aggressively, that's fine. We can temper the spring preload and make that work. But if you're looking for comfort, you may want to downgrade the spring one notch. Obviously, given Dave's weight, we know the forks are going to be really stiff. And we're right at four inches, so we'd have to, at the 130 pound range, swap the fork springs out to get the bike to sit forward and maintain the correct geometry. So actually, as far as the shock is set up in the back, it's a little bit soft, but we can go ahead and just take a couple turns of preload off the spring, and we'll get this right where it needs to be for both street and canyon riding. We probably tighten it back up for the track. Obviously, a V-twin engine has a lot of torque and really will squat the back end quite hard exiting corners. So given the rider's ability, we might have to go back in and tighten it up at the track. onto the front and we're at three and a half inches so if we soften the back up for the street the geometry will restore itself and the front end will actually give a decent sag number however if it's a lot of aggressive braking with a rider this weight there is a danger of bottom in the forks so 210 plus you may want to immediately get the correct fork springs for your weight so there's not a problem there as you get used to the bike and go faster